On this week's news, Max Verstappen says he won't change for anyone, while Lando Norris says he gets F1. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. Reigning F1 world champion Max Verstappen says that he's not going to change for anyone, despite pressure from fans of rival drivers, including Mercedes' Sir Lewis Hamilton. Verstappen has been one of several F1 drivers this year on the receiving end of fan jeers. But while the Dutchman understands the intensity of the passion, he says he won't be doing anything different. I shouldn't adapt myself to what a fan likes because I am me and I'm not going to change because then you're fake. And if somebody doesn't like me, that's fine, he said. Verstappen heads to the next race in Belgium, the first of a triple header with an 80 point advantage over Ferrari Charles Leclerc. McLaren driver Lando Norris says that he's more comfortable in F1 with the Brit's consistent strong results enabling him to better relax away from the racing line in his private life. Norris is in his fourth season at the pinnacle of motorsport, but has seen off challenges from Carlos Sainz, now with Ferrari, and Daniel Ricciardo, who he's effectively destroyed. But Norris says his establishment in the sport has eased concerns over his place, making him happier away from the track. I feel like I've got Formula One, Norris said. I'm doing everything I can and efficiently to do the best job I can in that. But then I can also live a life away from it. Norris has since diversified his interests with gaming and apparel brand Quadrant and is keen to try some rallying in the future following a recent shoot for its latest collection. Williams driver Alex Albon says that the value of success is the biggest difference in switching from top squad Red Bull, with the anglo Thai pilot enjoying celebrating the small victories at Grove. Albon was jettisoned from his Red Bull racing seat at the end of 2020 to make way for Sergio Perez, but the 26-year-old is enjoying the challenge at British Team Williams, where it's all about development in moving the former powerhouse squad up the grid. Sometimes you can be out in Q1, but actually you felt like the lap was really good, like the car was good. You felt like as a team you maximized everything, he said. Floors will be a focus in Belgium, with the FIA's World Motorsport Council approving changes to the technical regulations for this year and next, in a bid to stamp out vertical oscillations or porpoising which it believes is a threat to driver safety and health and well-being, and left unchecked could become worse in the future. For this year, changes are limited to the central floor's flexibility, with floor edges and the diffuser throat raised in 2023. The diffuser's edge will also need to be stiffened, with an additional sensor required. The FIA will be measuring what it calls the phenomenon in SPA, with the expectation that teams operate below a certain threshold in order for their car to be considered safe. F1's governing body also made structural changes to the car's roll hoop for 2023, as a result of Alfa Romeo driver Zhou Guan Yu's horrific crash at the British Grand Prix. The Australian Grand Prix organizers announced last week F1 will return to Melbourne's Albert Park next year on April 2, with the race date subject to confirmation from the FIA's World Motorsport Council. Australia returned to the calendar this year after a two-year forced hiatus, with the race dominated by Ferrari's Charles Leclerc. Melbourne's slot will be the third round of a yet-to-be-released calendar, which is expected to be headed by Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. F1 is spoiled for choice in 2023, with more venues than slots available, and classics having to make way for new destinations. Las Vegas is confirmed for November, 
while both Qatar and South Africa are expected to return at the cost of Belgium and France. Austria, Mexico and Monaco need new deals for 2023. F1 may have been quiet over its traditional summer break, but that peace was shattered by Red Bull when it took its V10-powered two-seater car to Leipzig, Germany, located around 160 kilometers east of Berlin. Their 13-time winner, David Coulthard, met Red Bull colleague, Swedish footballer Emil Forsberg, an attacking midfielder for Bundesliga club RB Leipzig, ahead of their first game of the season. The Swede was soon strapped in behind Coulthard for a unique city tour at speed, including the square in front of the Federal Administrative Court, the Körneritz Bridge, the Hipplagwitz District, before finishing up at nightclub Ilipa Minoka, all of which made quite an impression. Yeah, I mean, the experience was amazing. I mean, to, to get the chance to sit in a Formula One car uh, with David was uh, once in a lifetime. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, it gives you a lot of adrenaline, and the chance to drive and hear the sound of it so close up is it's amazing. And Coulthard, who retired at the end of 2008, enjoyed the chance to again demonstrate the power of F1. The thing I really love about this two-seater is it's the, the closest you can really give a passenger the sensation of what it is to drive a Grand Prix car. This particular one runs a V10 engine, so it's not the modern hybrid engine. But actually, I think that's even better because it's so raw and you feel the vibration through your back. Alpine says that it can use its upcoming LMDH program on the World Endurance Championship stage to keep its junior drivers razor sharp in waiting for a seat on the F1 grid. The French Marks junior program currently features four hopefuls in Jack Doohan, who has been testing its F1 car, Ollie Caldwell, Caio Collet, and Victor Martins, but has recently lost top talents Joe Guan Yu to Alfa Romeo and Oscar Piastri, likely to McLaren. Alpine CEO Laurent Rossi says, though, that it has more options now to hold on to its remaining young guns. There are plenty of options for them to be in a waiting seat. Reserve, of course, is one. We are going to have LMDH soon available, so we feel like we can manage this pipeline of drivers a bit better than we've done in the very recent past, he said. Alpine is yet to determine who will drive alongside Esteban Ocon in 2023, with Piastri categorically stating it will not be him. Past boss Gunter Steiner says the US-owned squad will now focus on building its American identity, with the sport's interest exploding stateside. Haas joined F1 as a startup in 2016, but the spotlight was then firmly on building awareness of parent company Haas Automation, which is styled as the largest machine tool builder in the Western world. But now Steiner says the outfit, which is again racing in F1's competitive midfield, can switch its focus with the USA actively listening. It's what we need to do as a team. It's not a directive, Steiner said. We were never told what we have to be. We are who we are. Steiner's opinion on American interest has naturally changed since 2021, when his squad was racing at the back of the grid. It's growing pretty quick, and the next thing uh, F1 needs is an American driver, obviously, you know, a good American driver. And we as a team, I mean, this year we are not doing well, so it's, it's always difficult uh, uh, in these positions to speak with people. We need to do better, and we will do better, and then uh, I think doors will open up more. Over in IndyCar, McLaren's Pato Award has scored his first points since his Iowa win in July with fourth place at the Bon Marito Automotive Group 500 in Madison, Illinois, to keep his title hopes alive. Awards started seventh, well behind the pole sitter, Penske's Will Power, who equaled Mario Andretti's record with his 67th number one spot. Power's Penske teammate Joseph Newgarden was too good, however, and claimed his fifth win for 2022, pulling him to within three points of the Australian standings lead with two rounds to go. 
while over at Watkins Glen, 2007 F1 world champion Kimi Raikkonen made his NASCAR Cup Series debut with Trackhouse Racing. The Finn impressed, running as high as eighth before crashing out. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.